three, six, five. 365. It's story time. Wait, this is, no, no, this is the wrong apparel for this. That we need, we need, okay, there we go. Oh wait, let's do a story time. August 13th, 2014, I became the first official guest ever to go to Walt Disney World 365 consecutive days. But where does the story start? The dream started back in 2004 when I did my Walt Disney World college program. Now, while I was on my college program, I decided why not live out that childhood dream and go to Disney every single day. So from late January until early January the next year, I did go to Disney at the park every single day before or after work, with the exception of a few days when I went up to visit my family in Wisconsin. Now, when I first made it back down here to Florida, I wanted to still go to the park every single day. And it, the first thing that was in my head was, why not try for 365 consecutive days? There's just one problem. Maybe not really a problem, but every single August, my family hosts a badminton tournament. You might have heard of it, you know, the Golden Shuttlecock Tournament, plus for the Dodge Cup. So the day after the Golden Shuttlecock Tournament ended, and I flew back down to Florida, I figured this is it. I'm gonna go to Disney 365 consecutive days before anyone else has ever done it at Walt Disney World. But then tragedy hit. One of my grandparents had passed away. And naturally, family comes first. So I had to put the dream on the back burner and I flew up to attend the funeral up in Chicago. But when I came back, I figured after the next August, I'm gonna make this dream a reality. But then something came up again. I got really sick. I was laying here in this bed for about 24 hours straight. At the very end of the day, I was like, I'm, oh, I don't feel good, but I'm gonna go to the park. And I missed getting there by a minute. But it's okay, because I figured it's okay, because from 2012 to 2013, I have 365 consecutive days that I will be able to accomplish this feat of going to Disney every single day. Until tragedy, of course, strikes again. Another death in the family caused me to go back up north for yet another funeral and the dream was put on another back burner for another year. So in August of 2013, my brother got married. The very next day, I was flying out to Disneyland for an Adventures by Disney trip with my website. My plan was starting at Disneyland and going to Walt Disney World, I will have those 365 consecutive days. It's gonna be perfect. I'll include Disneyland and include Disney World. However, I had one more issue. My flight from California to Florida was delayed. And I got into the state of Florida about half an hour before the parks closed. But unfortunately, I could not make it there in time. So I landed in Florida on the 13th. So my first day back was August 14th of 2013. Now remember that badminton tournament I talked about earlier? So the following year, we hadn't set a date yet. But we decided that in order for me to accomplish this goal, my whole family took one for the team. And we pushed that date back just a little bit so I could accomplish this 365 days. The only issue is, I've tried four years in a row. Was this one gonna be successful? So since no one had ever done this before, I started to talk to different people at Disney. And I said, hey, listen, I've been going to the parks for 50 days in a row, 100 days in a row, 150 days in a row. What do I have to do for this to actually become a record? Now, the rules were very simple for me. I created my own set of rules and Disney just kind of followed along with those rules. I had to go to the park every single day for 365 consecutive days, and every single day while I was at that park, I had to go on at least one attraction. Didn't matter which attraction, I just had to go on one attraction every single day. So the year started to go like a breeze. March passed, April passed, every single month was getting closer and closer to that final deadline. Could I make it to August 13th, or couldn't I? I had no idea. I started to get really nervous that there was going to be something going wrong. On the 200th day, one of my friends and I were driving to the park and we counted to 200 in celebration. It was on the way there, I realized I'm only 165 days away. I think I can actually pull this off this year. Next thing you knew was August. Now, August 1st, I remember starting to tell people about where I was and how close I was to actually being there. And next thing you knew, people started to talk about it, not just amongst my friends, but everywhere. So one of the managers at my job actually knew someone who was high up in Disney, and she let them know about who I was and what I was doing. This was about three or four days before the actual day, before August 13th. 
Next thing you knew, the people at my job started to spoil me rotten. They, they got me t-shirts stating 365 days, and they started to make different signs to the point where they wanted to know exactly what minute I would be walking into that park that day. Let's get to that day. So I woke up and I wasn't in a rush. I wasn't in a hurry. It was the most calming, peaceful experience I've ever had in my life. I knew I had done it. All I had to do was go to the park. So I just kind of took my time. I got to the park around 11 o'clock that day. And when I showed up, I was greeted by a few people that I work with, all with massive signs that said, 365 days at Disney. Uh, go, Brent, go. It was, it was crazy. It was like I was this miniature celebrity with this mini groupie crowd that was sitting there at the entrance waiting for me to walk in and enter in for my 365th day in a row. So a few of my friends had contacted guest relations and they let them know about what was happening, why that day was so magical and so special, and they set us up with fast passes. A lot of fast passes for things like the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, Peter Pan's Flight. It was like the greatest dream come true. And then came the phone call, the phone call I did not expect to come at all. The Disney Parks blog contacted me, saying that they heard, heard about my story and they wanted to do a story about me and about this journey of 365 days in a row. So I went over to Disney Springs and I went to this secret meeting where they did an interview with me for about an hour. Uh, they checked my pass. This is the very pass that I used all those years ago. Uh, they, they checked the pass to make sure I actually had gone to the park all 365 consecutive days. Now what happened then? I kept on going to the park every day. I kept on living out my dream. The, the thing that I absolutely loved about everything that happened was I lived out this crazy dream that I had come up with 10 years before I actually went off and actually accomplished it. It was one of those things where I just love Disney so much and my theory has always been if I'm this close to being at Walt Disney World, why wouldn't I go every single day? If you can be at the place that makes you happier than any other place in the world, you might as well go every single day. So the bottom line is, follow your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. It doesn't matter how crazy your dream might be, you'll never know what an amazing accomplishment it is until you actually go out there and live it. So go live your dreams and have a great day. And of course, as always, if you're not already subscribed to us right here on this channel, make sure you subscribe right down here. And until next time, we'll see you guys all a little later. Goodbye.